tetra tense, that's the type chicken they are, which is part leg horn and part Rhode Island red. And I th we think when they grow up, they're going to be mostly white. They'll have a little bit of uh, they'll have a little bit of color on them, but they're going to be mostly white. And we also have a duck, and the type of duck is a mallard duck. We don't know exactly whether it's going to be a boy or a girl yet. We won't know until he starts getting his colors in. Two weeks in a brooder. And a brooder is what people do when they take chickens away from the mama chicken, the little baby chicks, to take them away. And the little chicks still need to be warm, even though mom's not there. So we use a light to keep them warm. And I didn't bring the light in today. It's out in the van. But I have a light, a little reptile light, that clips on here and shines down into the end of the box. And all the little chicks, when they're feeling cold, they go and get under that light. And it kind of takes the place of their mother. And for most chickens, it takes a total of about six weeks in a brooder before they're able to just go out in a pen and live as a regular chicken would. Yeah, don't let him jump out. There's the little duck. And we have been amazed at how, at how long or, or how quick these uh, ducks have grown, these animals have grown up. You know, when we got them, they were about three weeks old. And it was not just last week, but by, even last week they were fitting in my hand very easily. And today, you see, he's already grown a whole lot. They eat a lot, too. They drink a whole lot of water. His water bottle, his wa their water bottle is this big, and they'll drink uh, about three-quarters of that at night between the time we go to bed and the time we get up. And they have um, their food their food bottle is the same size and they go through a whole bottle of that about every two days. So they're really eating and drinking a lot. Hody, you want to take your duck around? Yeah. Yeah. You want to hold him? You want to touch his head? You want to rub his head? See how soft he is? When they're first born, their whole body is covered with this really light stuff. And then it starts becoming feathers. And you see, these guys are kind of getting out of their cute stage. They're already starting to get feathers, and they're getting out of their cute stage. Oh, I don't have none in my hand. Oh, you scared me. I can. <laughs> there you go. Listen to him. He's talking to you. Don't squeeze him tight. Hold him loose. <laughs> Pretty cool, Melanie, huh? Just like that. Yep. Told me, a person told me, a, a, a farmer told me actually a long time ago about animals' feet. And you know, like when you look at the chicken, his feet look really big for this little body, don't it? And they told me that animals will always grow into the size of their feet. So like when you go see a little tiny puppy, you know, you, you go to the dog, to the um, SPCA, and somebody see the puppy and they say, I wonder how big that puppy's going to get. And the, and the people say, well, we're not really sure because we don't know what kind he is. But when you look at those feet, you will know if that dog's going to be big or small by the size of those feet because a little tiny puppy has great big feet. And you see the chickens and the duck, they have big feet and they'll grow into them. They'll just keep getting bigger. <laughs>